Welcome back to Smiley Gaming. It's your boy Smiley. We're about to do this iconic orange track race. Listen. Probably gonna do it pretty fast. Let's do this. One go, no second cuts. This is my first time trying this. Careful! Technically, that's more than 1400 brake horsepower you've got there. As I said, Hot Wheels have always been designed to go really fast on custom track. So, what do you do with the track? Well, you make it in segments so people can build whatever they like. Then you invent a battery-powered booster to shoot cars along the straight and a speed brake to slow them down for tight turns. You can even tune how fast the booster will propel the cars. But why stop there? Loops, jump ramps, back turns, gravity drops, trestle bridges, chicanes, crossovers, lap counters, multi-lane, side-by-side racing launchers. All fully compatible, of course. That's just good engineering. They even made an auto shop with a working dyno and a teeny Let's tiny oil go. can and wrench to tune up your car. I paid for it. it was. <laughs> nice. So why's the track orange? It's like bright orange. <laughs> Can't argue with that. You think so, yeah? No, nothing is more exciting than seeing cars racing side by side. Hot Wheels made loads of accessories for this, including launchers for the start line, speedometers to clock the speed of passing cars, and finish gantries that can show which car had won. No cheating allowed. In the 70s, there were dedicated multi-lane track pieces, including the Fat Track, which was three lanes wide and had no dividers for a risky overtake. Nowadays, there's even more fun stuff to play with. You've got figure eight, multi-story garages, rubber band kickers, and even giant sharks and dinosaurs that jump on the track. Why else do you think we've got a giant dragon right here at the park? Waiting for player? What just happened? So, why make your cars go really fast on plastic track? I give up. Why? So they go further when they jump off the end, of course. <laughs> Come on, let's go. This is gonna corner, be epic. I <laughs> I'm riding along with you for this bit. Punch it! Let's see the twin mill fly! <laughs> this is way better than when I used to build ramps out of books! We'll be talking about that one. That was a good one. That took four minutes, five minutes, almost three stars. I got seven feet short. <laughs> Go 
crazy. It's time to learn about the greatest rivalry in Hot Wheels history. Meet me here. Snake or mongoose? <laughs> Come on down, I'll explain. Just unlock the car for that. Let's see what's next. Let's see what's next. I'm somewhere. <coughs> So we gotta complete the snake and the mongoose now. I see, I see. Probably wondering what all this snake and mongoose talk is about, right? You take the yellow car, I'll take the blue. I'll explain along the way. This is a nice car. You've heard of Dodge Prudom and Tom McEwen, right? They were famous NHRA drag racers in the 70s who had a friendly rivalry going on for years. Uh... Don was a four-time National Hot Rod Association champ and Motorsport Hall of Famer. He was nicknamed The Snake. And Tom McEwen was another dragster who won the NHRA US Nationals. They called him The Mongoose. They were both well-established racers in their own right. As the two of them competed in the US Nationals over the years, they crossed paths numerous times, which sparked oh a friendly rivalry between them. Lord, Mattel buddy. proposed to make a serious... of toys based on the rivalry between the snake and the mongoose. The Hot Wheels sponsorship led to all kinds of drag themed stuff. and the Big Belter, which launched cars with rubber bands. The Big Belter could even detect jump starts, which is pretty cool, right? These were a smash hit and propelled both Hot Wheels and drag racing to greater levels of fame. Maybe the bots are having as hard of a time at the track as we are. Heavyweights were designed to go faster on gravity drops and Sizzlers had little battery-powered motors so you didn't need a launcher. Designer named Paul 
Tab started drawing six wheel designs like Six Shooter and Open Fire. like tampo printed patterns on the cars, which no one else was doing. Then you had the Hot Wheels Collector's Club Kit, where you could mail in to get either the Boss Huff, Heavy Chevy, or King Cuda, all with open hoods, big supercharger blowers, and silver paint jobs. Oh, so cool. Wish I'd been around back then. You know what? All this talk about drag racing has given me an idea. Man, it's given you five minutes to get here. This is ridiculous. Oh. in the original Snake vs. Mongoose set were powered by rubber bands. These ones, well, aren't. How about you and I test them in a drag race? Bring it on, Haley. Let's go. Time to see if that snake has a bite. Obviously let you in though. Who else am I gonna give the keys to the rip rod? Let's go. That's quick, that was good. Boom! Three star for smiley boy. Let's go. Stay tuned for more videos from Smiley Gaming. It's been your boy. Destruction on Xbox, as you can see in the top right corner. Or your boy Smiley Gaming here at YouTube.com. Peace.